Today, Governor Charlie Baker announced that Massachusetts will be sending members of the National Guard to Washington, D.C., ahead of the inauguration. This as local officials continue to track, track any potential threats here in our state. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live for us at the State House tonight with the latest. Mike. David, Massachusetts is sending several hundred Guard members down to Washington, D.C. The governor is also activating members here in the state as well. I think it's incredibly important for the country that, um, that this transition be smooth and as uneventful as possible. The Baker administration is sending up to 500 members of the Massachusetts National Guard to Washington, D.C. for next week's inaugural activities. CBS News reports there will be upwards of 20,000 troops total in our nation's capital as President-elect Joe Biden is sworn into office. This has been... Um, a lot of back and forth over the past 48 hours between uh, between the guard here, the guard in D.C., and uh, and some of our colleagues in in local and, and state law enforcement here. Governor Charlie Baker is also activating another 500 members of the guard that will be available locally to cities and towns in the event any issues pop up. We have no credible threats here in the city of Boston right now. But the Boston Police Department, working in partnership um, not only uh, across the city but also with federal authorities, uh, will be well prepared for any challenges we may see. We are fully synced up with our local, state, and federal partners. The FBI's Boston office, which covers Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, and Rhode Island, reports there are no credible threats in the region. I would also like to say that if anybody in the public is in receipt of any information at all, no matter how insignificant they think may be relevant, please contact their local FBI field office. The Guard members will start heading down to Washington, D.C. in the coming days. And a state official tells me there are still 7,000 other Guard members here in the state that could be activated if needed. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News. All right, Mike, thank you. We want to let